Good morning, peeps, and welcome to Wallow 267. I think it's today. I think it's for today, Sunday. Hey, today, Sunday. It's today, Saturday, or Sunday. Sunday, August 6th. Okay, so let's get started. So the Good first morning. one's Good saying... You are important. All He's saying, you know what? You're an important person. Like, you got shit to do. You got shit to do. You got a life. You're moving. You're going places. I like that. I like that. I like the motivation. So then the next one is about the Expectations of how life is and how going, Matt. And this... Ex- and how you have to change the expectation. That is the truth. That is the truth. That is the truth. Especially in relationships. You cannot. I'm doing that series this month and on Brown Sugar Talk. You cannot. And I, and look at it like tomorrow, y'all. Because I lost my other two pages. But I'm saying I'm doing it with the expectations. Because we are. Actually, I'm starting it today. But anyway. Y'all always. Like you have these expectations of people. Like that's your husband, your wife. You don't look at the situation for what it is and where it is at that time. So you don't actually enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the moment that you in. And then that means that you end up with all these other... He didn't take me on a lobster dinner and she didn't fuck me. And you know what I'm saying? And she didn't suck my dick. And he didn't hold my hand and buy me flowers. And it's like, really? When y'all just at the park one day chilling? You see what I'm saying? Like, it's like, you got to really set up the expectations. Was he able to afford that at that time? And so that's it. Like, if you enjoy the moment that you were in with that person, you will enjoy the relationship. Now, this other guy, he like he don't care who it is that's around him he betting on himself that's the other thing about the expectation it's like you gotta wake up and know that the part the person you with is a good person you gotta wake up that and who do you wake up with yourself um you if you got friends and they want to do something you gotta bet on them too so what i'm telling you is i like the way he said this too in this next one he's like i bet on me it don't matter who the I'm still betting on me because I know me. I know what the fuck I'm going to do. So then we got Tony Montana. Tony Montana. Oh, my God. Ari would make such a good Tony Montana. But you know what? Uh, What's her name? Jocelyn would make a better one. But listen to me. Tony Montana say, I know what's coming to me. I want what's coming to me. And what the fuck coming to you? The world. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Aubrey. Aubrey, you look so sweet. You look so sweet in this. You look so sweet. You look so sweet as a fucking gangster. Maybe Jocelyn can be Tony, you be the friend. Like, what's coming to you? And she, you see what I'm saying? Jocelyn, Jocelyn. Jocelyn is the new Tony Montana, y'all. Then this other dude, he say, before you bless me with your absence, before you threaten me with your absence, make sure that I value your presence. And most of the time, y'all, I don't value your presence. He be like, presence, be like, get the fuck on. Please threaten me with your absence. Please. Please. So listen to the part about The Rock. And The Rock is a fighter. The Rock can whoop ass. He can wrestle so Hold you by your head. Twist your head. Throw your body and just stand there and, and, and still eat a bowl of Cheerios. Okay? So The Rock is actually saying, fuck when people talking shit. Who gives a fuck about them talking shit? It's like, for real. Like, but what matters is that you show up every day and do what the fuck you got to do. Because in the end, it shows that you are the one that's worked and had that experience and that life and that self-determination. And you'll sit back and be like, man, you know what? I did this shit. I did this. I got that life experience. Then the next one, this girl, she tripping though. This Vin Diesel, I don't know what the fuck this mean. Maybe they want to be with their girlfriend. This when be, this when men get weird to me, boys too. She like, what if I block you? What if I block you? What if I block you? From my point of view as a woman, I would be like, I'm gonna put your ass. I'm see, I put your ass down like it. Like she's, I can't. You can't see the road. We can have an accident. You gonna cause me to die, bitch? Bitch, get the fuck off me. And then she started looking evil when she was hooking him dirty bitch she a dirty bitch then this other dude he's talking about don't you think it's strange that they did that though with the rings and it's like no i don't i don't think that's strange at all it makes sense it's a money move and he probably got a he probably got a party in it you see what i'm saying that's a money move um next thing while i like get the fuck up and just do some shit with your life and then this dude this is the best advice i could ever give you your emotions have to be your mind has to be stronger than your emotions your mind has to be stronger than your emotions people think i move on emotions and i don't i move on my mind because if i move with emotions i would i would be a serial killer i'm not joking i move with my mind y'all understand what i'm talking about? 
So that's it. Because emotions is the law. So I'm thinking that the law can take care of all that emotional shit that I have to deal with. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? The law can take care of any of that emotional shit. That's what it's supposed to do. The law is supposed to protect our emotions. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So I have to move with my mind. And that's how I know that it's outside of me. That's how I know whatever it is, is not my problem. If the law has to take over because somebody hurt my feelings, then that's actually, you see what I'm saying? That's why we have the law. All right. If so, if I if they have to take over, then why the fuck would I be giving more time to that when I know I got a case? You see what I'm saying? So now I can move for the rest of the day with my mind. Y'all understand? Your mind does have to be stronger than your emotions. You see? But them emotions, they'll get your ass paid. Have a good day.